Jamal Murray, the story of Blue Arrow. In the 2016 NBA Draft, the 6'4 guard Jamal Murray was selected as the 7th overall pick. I love when the good news coming in on a day to day. Already know what's happening, I don't gotta shake the hay. Big moves, big step in the right direction. The trip continues, every double use a psychedelic. Journey over accolades, divvy up the macalades and tell them boys that. Murray's debut season wasn't particularly outstanding, but in his second year, he made a huge improvement and ever since, he has been a standout player. The guard for the Denver Nuggets has put on some clinic games in the NBA playoffs in 2023. This has led to a lot of basketball enthusiasts wondering where the nickname Blue Arrow came from. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it and see what's the reason behind this unique nickname. Murray grew up in Kitchener, Ontario, where he was also born. Murray could play basketball for hours when he was just three years old and participated in a league for 10-year-olds when he was six. He started playing pickup games against top high school and college players around the age of 12 or 13. Murray attended Kitchener's Grand River Collegiate Institute before switching to Orangeville Prep. He teamed up with fellow prospect Thon Maker to help Orangeville Prep overcome numerous American schools. Murray was voted MVP at the 2013 Jordan Brand Classic International Game, making him the second Canadian to do so after Dwayne Notice. Murray won the MVP award at the 2015 Nike Hoop Summit after finishing with a game-high 30 points. Murray subsequently received the MVP award for the 2015 BioSteel All-Canadian Basketball Game. Later, changed his class on June 24, 2015 and made a commitment to play for John Calipari's Kentucky team. Murray was selected to the Associated Press's third team of All-Americans during his first campaign. Murray was named to both the SEC All-Freshman Team and the All-SEC First Team. Murray issued a notice that he would waive his remaining three years of college eligibility in April 2016 and enter the NBA Draft. He signed his rookie-scale deal on June 23, 2016, the same day the Denver Nuggets selected him as the seventh overall choice in the 2016 NBA Draft. Five months later, in a defeat to the Portland Trailblazers, 112-105, he scored a then-career-high 19 points. For games played in October and November, he received the Western Conference Rookie of the Month Award. Then, in February 2017, Murray won the Rising Stars Challenge MVP Award after leading Team World to a 150-139 victory over Team USA by tallying a game-high 36 points and a game-high 11 assists. He was named to the NBA All-Rookie Second Team at the conclusion of the season. Later, on January 22, 2018, he scored a career-high 38 points for the Nuggets and a 104-101 victory over the Portland Trailblazers, including a three-point play in the closing seconds. Murray extended his contract with the Denver Nuggets for a maximum five-year, $170 million deal on the first day of the free agency period in a 131-114 victory over the Memphis Grizzlies on November 17, 2019, Murray posted a season-high 39 points and 8 assists, including 7 three-pointers. Three days later, Murray produced a career-high 6 steals, 10 points and 9 assists, and a 105-95 victory over the Houston Rockets. Murray had one of the finest streaks of his career after returning after a 10-game absence due to an ankle strain sustained against Charlotte. He averaged 31.3 points per game over a four-game span, including 36 points on 14 of 17 shooting and six three-pointers against the Suns on February 8th. On March 4th, Murray scored another game-winning basket, this time an off-balance jumper with 4.5 seconds left in regulation to beat the Hornets 114-112 and finish off an 18-point, 6-assist effort. Murray had a career-high 50 points on February 19, 2021, when the Cleveland Cavaliers were defeated 120-103. He also became only the second player in NBA history to score 50 points while shooting more than 80% from the field and three-point range. He accomplished both of these feats during the course of the game. Murray's left ACL was torn on April 12th while playing against the Golden State Warriors. The Nuggets declared Murray would be out indefinitely the next day. Murray had surgery on his left knee's damaged ACL on April 21st. He was declared out indefinitely by the Nuggets the following day. 
Murray missed the whole 2021-2022 season while recovering from his ACL tear, despite never being officially suspended for the year. The Golden State Warriors defeated the Denver Nuggets in the first round of the playoffs in five games without Murray. Murray played in his first game in 18 months on October 19, 2022, losing to the Utah Jazz 123-102 while recording 12 points and 26 minutes of action. A month later, Murray beat the Portland Trailblazers 121-120 with 21 points, including the game-winning three-pointer. Then, on January 9, 2023, Murray beat the Los Angeles Lakers 122-109 with a then-season-high 34 points. When Murray made his 805th career three-pointer on March 10th against the San Antonio Spurs, he passed Will Barton to take the top spot in three-pointers made in Nuggets history. His 172 three-pointers were fifth in the history of the squad, but he finished second that season to teammate Michael Porter Jr., who made 188. Murray scored 40 points as the Denver Nuggets defeated the Minnesota Timberwolves, 122-113 in Game 2 of their first round playoff series. His fifth postseason game with 40 points saw him surpass Alex English for the franchise mark. The Nuggets advanced to their first NBA Finals appearance by sweeping the Lakers in four games, winning four of them. He also made NBA records by averaging 30 points on 50, 40, and 90% shooting in the conference finals. Murray scored 26 points and dished out 10 assists as the Utah Jazz defeated the Miami Heat 104-93 in Game 1 of the NBA Finals. In addition, he and Nikola Jokic made NBA Finals history as the first teammate since Magic Johnson and James Worthy in 1987 to each score at least 25 points and dished out at least 10 assists. Murray recorded a 30-point triple-double in Game 3 of the NBA Finals, defeating the Miami Heat 109-94 with 34 points, 10 rebounds, and 10 assists. He and Jokic made history by being the first teammates in the NBA to record 30 points and a triple-double. So from where does the Blue Arrow nickname come from? Jamal Murray played basketball at Kentucky before entering the NBA. The gifted guard played for the Wildcats for just one season, averaging 20 points per game on 45.4% of his shots. The combo guard made a name for himself as one of basketball's most potent scorers. He had the ability to attack the rim and make long-range shots, all of which were transferable to the NBA. Murray had a very good long-range shooting percentage of 40.8%. Murray earned his moniker due to his strong three-point shooting. Murray often made his bow and arrow celebration after nailing a long-range shot. He would aim at his teammates who were sitting on the bench, and they would all fall dramatically. Jamal Murray, then known as Blue Arrow, made this his go-to celebration. The first part of his nickname refers to his team, the Kentucky Wildcats, in their favorite shade of blue, while the second part refers to his celebration. Murray's accurate shooting enabled the Wildcats to compile a 27-9 record. Despite being the fourth seed going into the NCAA tournament, they were defeated by number 5 Indiana in the second round. Murray has successfully transferred his shooting abilities to the NBA. In the Professional Basketball League, he has made 37.8% of his three-pointers, including 40.2% during the last two seasons. The Denver Nuggets' talented scorer, who made 39.8% of his three-point attempts in the postseason, has been a major factor in the team's success. His followers still adore his bow and arrow celebration, which he still uses. Murray's best NBA performance was making it to the Western Conference Finals in 2020, but this year, he's winning it all. So guys, that's pretty much it. Which part of Murray's journey did you like the most? Let us know in the comments below. We'll see you next time. Till then, take care.